Yellowstone National Park, a place of unparalleled natural beauty where the Earth's geothermal wonders are on full display. Geysers erupt with astonishing force, sending plumes of steam and water skyward. Hot springs shimmer with vibrant colors, painting the landscape with hues of blue, green, and orange. But beneath this natural wonder, a giant sleeps. A supervolcano, one of the largest on Earth, lies in wait. Its presence is marked by the vast Yellowstone caldera. The caldera, a massive crater formed by cataclysmic eruptions thousands of years ago, is a reminder of the immense power that lies beneath. This isn't a typical volcano with a cone-shaped mountain. Instead, it's a sprawling underground chamber filled with molten rock. Imagine a giant chamber of molten rock miles beneath the surface. This is Yellowstone's secret, a hidden world of intense heat and pressure. Pressure builds within this magma chamber. Heat intensifies, causing the ground above to rise and fall subtly, almost imperceptibly. The ground above, a thin crust compared to the power below, is constantly monitored by scientists. They study Yellowstone carefully, looking for signs of change. They monitor the ground's movement, the escape of gases, and the frequency of earthquakes. Each tremor, each gas release, tells a story of the activity below. These signs help us understand the sleeping giant's behavior. By studying these clues, scientists hope to predict future eruptions and protect the lives of those who live in the shadow of this magnificent, yet potentially dangerous, natural wonder. What if Yellowstone erupted? This supervolcano, lying dormant beneath the surface, holds the potential to unleash a cataclysmic event unlike any other in recorded history. The Earth would shudder with unprecedented force. Massive earthquakes would ripple through the ground, fracturing the Earth's crust and creating deep fissures. A massive column of ash, rock and gas would shoot miles into the atmosphere. This towering plume would spread across continents, affecting weather patterns and climate on a global scale. Imagine the sky turning dark as night, choked with ash. The sun would be blotted out, casting an eerie twilight over the land, disrupting ecosystems and agriculture. Volcanic bombs, massive chunks of molten rock would rain down, igniting fires across the park. These fiery projectiles would devastate the landscape, causing widespread destruction. Pyroclastic flows, superheated avalanches of gas and ash would race across the landscape at hundreds of miles per hour, incinerating everything in their path. These deadly flows would obliterate anything in their way, leaving a trail of devastation. The air would fill with toxic gases. Sulfur dioxide and other harmful chemicals would permeate the atmosphere, posing severe health risks to all living beings. Visibility would drop to near zero. The thick ash cloud would create fog-like conditions, making navigation and rescue efforts nearly impossible. The roar of the eruption would be heard for thousands of miles, a terrifying testament to nature's raw power. This deafening sound would echo across the land, a constant reminder of the supervolcano's might. In the immediate aftermath, Yellowstone National Park would be unrecognizable. The once vibrant ecosystem wiped out. The landscape buried under ash and debris the iconic geysers and hot springs silenced. The surrounding states blanketed in ash, the depth increasing closer to the eruption site. Rivers and lakes choked with volcanic debris, the air thick with ash and toxic gases making it difficult to breathe. The immediate impact would be devastating, a stark reminder of the immense power that lies beneath the surface of our planet. The eruption's effects wouldn't be confined to Yellowstone, Prevailing winds would carry the ash cloud eastward, blanketing much of North America in a thick layer of ash. Imagine cities like Denver, Chicago, and New York coated in ash. Air travel would grind to a halt, airports closed due to the hazardous air. Agriculture would face collapse. Crops would be smothered, livestock suffocated. Food shortages would quickly become a reality. The ash, heavy and abrasive, would clog engines, disrupt power grids, and contaminate water supplies. Life as we know it would change dramatically. Section 5. Global Winter. 
the sun's light dims. The eruption's impact would be felt far beyond North America. The massive injection of sulfur dioxide into the stratosphere would have global consequences. This gas, forming sulfate aerosols, would reflect sunlight back into space, causing a global volcanic winter. Temperatures worldwide would plummet. Growing seasons would be disrupted, leading to widespread crop failures and food shortages. The delicate balance of ecosystems would be thrown into disarray. The planet would experience a period of significant cooling, the severity and duration dependent on the eruption's magnitude and the amount of sulfur dioxide released. Section 6. The Long Road Back Life After Yellowstone The immediate aftermath of the eruption would be catastrophic, but life is resilient. Over time, the planet would begin to recover. The ash would gradually settle, and the sun would eventually break through the haze. Plants would start to grow again, slowly reclaiming the land. But the world would be different. The climate would be altered. Ecosystems would be forever changed. The eruption would serve as a stark reminder of the power of nature and the importance of respecting the delicate balance of our planet. Section 7. Civilization's Challenge. Facing a Global Crisis. A Yellowstone eruption would be a global crisis unlike any we've faced before. The challenges would be immense, demanding unprecedented cooperation and resourcefulness. International collaboration would be crucial to address food shortages, provide aid and rebuild infrastructure. New technologies and solutions would be needed to adapt to the altered environment. The human spirit, however, is one of resilience and innovation. We have overcome challenges throughout history. A Yellowstone eruption would test us like never before, but it would also inspire our ingenuity and collective will to survive. Section 8. The Watchers, Scientists on Guard Scientists constantly monitor Yellowstone, studying its every tremble and sigh. Sophisticated instruments track ground deformation, seismic activity and gas emissions. This constant vigilance helps us understand the volcano's behaviour and provides vital data for forecasting potential eruptions. While we cannot prevent an eruption, we can strive to be better prepared. Research into volcanic processes, early warning systems and disaster preparedness is crucial. The more we understand about supervolcanoes, the better equipped we'll be to face the challenges they pose. Section 9. Living with Uncertainty, Yellowstone's Legacy Yellowstone's supervolcano reminds us that we live on a dynamic planet, subject to the powerful forces of nature. This vast and magnificent landscape is a testament to the Earth's ever-changing face, shaped by volcanic activity over millions of years. The caldera, a massive volcanic crater, is a stark reminder of the raw power that lies beneath our feet. While the possibility of an eruption is a sobering thought, it's essential to remember that such an event is not imminent. Scientists continuously monitor the area, using advanced technology to track any changes in geothermal activity. Their work helps us understand the complex systems at play and provides valuable data that can inform safety measures and preparedness plans. Instead of living in fear, we should use this knowledge to appreciate the awe-inspiring power of our planet and the importance of scientific understanding. Yellowstone offers a unique opportunity to witness the Earth's geothermal wonders up close, from the vibrant colors of hot springs to the dramatic eruptions of geysers. These natural phenomena are not just beautiful, they are windows into the inner workings of our planet. Yellowstone's legacy is a reminder of both the beauty and the potential for destruction that exist in nature. The park's diverse landscapes, from lush forests to expansive meadows, are home to a rich variety of wildlife. This delicate balance of life and geological activity underscores the need for careful stewardship and respect for the natural world. By supporting scientific research, promoting environmental stewardship and fostering global cooperation, we can better prepare for whatever the future holds. Efforts to conserve Yellowstone's unique ecosystems are crucial, not just for the park itself, but for the broader understanding of environmental science and conservation practices worldwide. And perhaps in the face of such immense power, we can find a renewed sense of our shared humanity and our responsibility to protect this fragile planet we call home. 
Yellowstone is more than just a national park. It is a symbol of the natural world's grandeur and a call to action for all of us to cherish and safeguard our environment for future generations.